ask him for closure. How do we get closure? Number one, learn to express your pain. Right? Chef, do you cry? You cry. Not worship. You cry. Romans 12, 15. Learn to do what? Don't pretend that there is no pain. Men do those things. The mother died 12 years ago, just to like this. Everybody was crying. Mm, I'm a man. Express your pain because that which you do not express will be expressed one day in a very wrong way. Express your pain. I'm not saying you should confess negative or curse. Express your pain. I miss my brother. I really miss my brother. And you cry. I miss my mom. Do you cry? Rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with what? Oh yes. There are times things happen that we weep. Don't pretend that uh, it's not pain in you. It's pain in you. Weep. Express it. It's one of the ways we find closure. You're like, uh, uh, acknowledging this has happened. It's not the best. I don't like this. You express your pain. But how can I move from this pain? But you must express that pain. On time. Some people wake up in the night and cry their eyes for five hours. Fine, cry. But please, don't let the crying be the only thing. Cry, express the pain. Then, of course, ask God to give you closure. Why did this happen? It was reasons. I've had that in my own life. Something happened. Believe me, you, you might not get the reasons immediately. It can take six months. Some can take six years. But that you and God are discussing closure is going to help your healing. Something happened in this church that looked like stagnation many years ago. And I was bothered. I prayed and everything. And then I said, God, what is the problem? I need to sort this out. And he said, the reason why things are stagnant in that area is because you have been ungrateful to me. <laughs> he said that. He said, look at this thing. You think it's too small. And you think it's small in comparison to your friends. You know, when God does a thing to, if God gives you 20 naira, which is a testimony, but your friend now says he has 25 naira, you can now become ungrateful for the 20 naira. Because how can God give my friend 25 naira? Whether your own 20 naira is a breakthrough, so you just see that you don't pass that 20 naira. <laughs> he said you are ungrateful, and I saw it in your heart. You are, yes, you have lofty dreams, you have desire, but I won't take this from you. I said, is that the problem? <laughs> I knelt down straight. I apologized to him. I thanked him. I explained the thanksgiving. I now ask him, does you understand my explanation? <laughs> That's how I pray. Oh. That what I'm saying is this. Oh. I should have died in SS2 with uh, what is it, hepatitis, something. So where am I to be saying you didn't do well now? Ah, forget me. Father, you remember when I was carrying uh, water to fetch in the estate in Amu Dauphin and the car hit me and I fell. What if I died at that time? Should I not be complaining about this uh, vehicle or this thing? Forgive me, my father. I was foolish. Forgive me. I'm grateful to you. <laughs> and then a breeze will blow on you. And then you find that your season is just over. So that's, that's a way of finding closure with God. He will give you a revelation. He will explain some things to you. And then, when you have lost someone or lost something, dare to ask God for restoration. Yeah, ask him. It's been taken from the store, from your life. Uh, some of us think, ah, I can never, nobody can ever replace my dad or replace my mom or replace my brother. Why? That's what you think. Yes, you miss that person. But as a way, God will bring maybe new relationships to you. He has a way of restoring. 
He's never stranded. But ask him for rest. The, the way we ask God for restoration of jobs, of finances, of promotion, God restores anything we ask of him. I remember the story of Ruth in the Bible. She lost her husband. I mean, the, the, the mother-in-law was in losses. She too was in a loss. And they just followed each other. But after a while, God brought another man to Ruth called Boaz, the king's man redeemer. Yes, she will miss her husband, her first husband. But Boaz that came into her life for me was a kind of God reaching out to Ruth. That this loss will not be an end. Hi there, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and then hit the notification bell for more videos like this.